Hello everyone and welcome to my OWLS TBR. So it's April and of course it's time for the magical readathon, OWLS. Every April we take our OWLS and then in August we will take our newts. So, so excited about participating again in this incredible readathon which is hosted by G over at Book Roast. And yes, I will link all of her stuff below, her announcement video, because it is not too late to participate in the Owls. So the Owls, of course, we all know is based on Harry Potter and it's the um, um, examinations that they take. Oh my goodness, I couldn't think of the word. Um, in year five, I believe. And so here we have to pick our career and G has given a whole book of careers and which subjects you need to take. So I looked through the, that booklet. Unfortunately, I can't print it because I don't have a printer. Um, but I decided to choose the career of uh, astronomer. And so to be an astronomer, I need to um, take my arithmancy, my astronomy, and my history of magic history of magic exams so with that being said there are prompts that go along with each course that you need to take each exam that you need to take so let's start with arithmetic arithmetic is magical quantities of number two so balance and opposites read something outside your favorite genre so with this, I do have a few favorite genres, but this is not technically my most favorite or the one that I read the most. So I have chosen In the Hall with the Knife, um, It's a Clue Mystery by Diana Peter Freud, Freud, Freund, sorry. And I am buddy reading this with Nikki over at I underscore read past my bedtime. And this is a mystery novel. Of course, it's a YA mystery. And I do enjoy thriller mysteries, but it is not my favorite genre if I had to pick one. So that's my choice for that. For astronomy, it's night classes. Read the majority of this book when it's dark outside. So I am also participating in the analog. So I've chose Anne of Windy Poplars to be that book that I read when I go to bed because it will be dark outside. Looking forward to this too. This is book four. So we're on book four right now uh, and we are going through all the books and it's not too late to participate in this one either. So I will link um, Tia and all the books, her uh, announcement video and everything below. Um, we do read one per month. So this is April, since April is month four. My last exam is History of Magic, and that's Witch Hunts, which is a book featuring witches or wizards. So I have two books that I plan on reading this month that um, deal with witches or wizards. So the witch one would be um, Witch Slapped uh, by Danielle Garrett. And I will have to put the picture here because I'm actually listening to it on audiobook. And then the one that deals with wizards is Full Moon by Jim Butcher, which is part of the uh, dressed in files, which I am participating in the read along for that. And uh, I read the first one and enjoyed it so much that I am continuing and reading the second one. Hopefully they will continue to uh, be very, very good books because I'm enjoying them. So that is all that I'm doing for my owls. I do have <clears throat> a couple other books that I will be planning on reading this month. And uh, the one for the rereadathon that's going on all year, it's reread a book from a genre genre you don't usually read anymore. This took me a while to figure it out. 
Um, but I'm going to reread The Tao of Pooh by Benjamin Hoff because I don't read a lot of philosophy books ever. I've read this one, um, but this was the only one I can think of, and I am interested in reading it again. So this is my rereadathon pick, and the rereadathon is being hosted by Alex Black Reads and Abby Mack Reads. So I will link their uh, announcement videos below as well. Then also I plan on continuing my Harry Potter reread and I'm up to Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. As you can tell, one of the longer, bigger Harry Potter books, I think uh, number five, Order of the Phoenix is the longest, but this is pretty close to it too. So I'm going to have to start this one right at the beginning of April. Yeah, hopefully I can get through it all. That is all that I'm planning on reading in April. Hopefully I will pick up some other books along the way. Are you participating in the Owls Readathon? If you are, please let me know below. I would love to see your TBRs and see anything else that you put up regarding your owls. And I hope if you hadn't been planning that you might decide now to join us with this Owl Readathon. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy your reading month in April. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and fancy subscribing, please press that subscribe button and I will see you again the next time.